normal for this neighborhood will always include a measure of danger and a heightened attention to security. This site clearly is at a level of risk. It's been attacked twice before, um, and it will be inevitably in people's mind, you know, God forbid, could it happen again? Um, and that's just the reality of the site. After 9-11, many thought the buildings replacing the Twin Towers would have to be virtual fortresses, impenetrable to attack. The designers of the New World Trade Center disagree. This is New York. This is a city where people can do what they want. You cannot build a fortress. It, it would be success of the terrorists if we showed that we, we, our life changed, that we no longer live the way we lived before. No, we have to be able to show that we are not bowed by this attack. We have to balance the needs of security, which are paramount. We have to learn from these attacks. We're going to create even more fantastic Manhattan, a more fantastic neighborhood. Although the 16-acre site will be defended by one of the most advanced security systems ever devised, visitors and residents will hardly notice. Most of it will be hidden 95 feet below the Memorial Plaza and four skyscrapers. It's called the Vehicle Security Center, or VSC. In order to build it, they have to dig underneath Ground Zero. 